Cash is still king. <laughs> I think so. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Thank you. Awesome. Very Thank you. Vloggy flips. We're almost there, Elliot. Okay. It's our last chance. Got it. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome, buddy. Are you surfaces? And wipe it on. I think so. Let's go it see. Looks, it looks kind of scary. <laughs> it looks kind of scary. I think it's back here. Yes. See that sign says yard sale. Hello, how's it going? What's that? Right there. Yeah, it's a little hot, isn't it? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Let's see. Kids, over here. Oh, look at this thing. What's that bunny mat? That's awesome, isn't it? Let me see this one. <laughs> it's a puppy. Yeah. It's a little cute puppy. Ew, it stinks. <laughs> it's old. How's that one big? That's kind of neat, isn't it? Yes. That bunny wear, that bunny mask. Like Let bunny. me see this one okay. now. Ah, scary. What is it, a horse? Wait, this is a beautiful horse. It's a beautiful horse? I kind of like this horse. I do too. See if it fits you. <laughs> Maybe later. I'm gonna buy that. Yeah. I'm gonna buy it. It's a, it's a sour one. It is. That's kind of bigger. Yeah. Than the, than the horse. Do you like I, that one too? Yes. I guess this is a pear. I don't know. We have some on Where does he just go? It's this one. Are these all a dollar a piece? I'm gonna get a stack of these, okay, Elliot? What? I said I'm gonna get a stack of these, okay? Okay. Okay. And I too. Do you wanna get something? Yes. There's this one for you. Let me see. Moulin Rouge. No way. Look, this is Wayne's World. You love it? I used to love that movie, yeah. That was yours. Okay, cool. So you love it. I'll put it on this side for a second, okay? Okay. There's some records of it. Sure, that'd be awesome. Whoa. Thank you. It's a radio. It's getting hot, isn't it? Yes, it is. You feel like you want to sell this? Yeah. Is it, is it kind of scary? Yeah, I'm scared of it. I get this puppy. You like I, it? I feel like I want to keep it. You want to buy that one? Okay. Okay, let's get this one. Okay. 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 Are you sure you don't want the dog? Or the bear? It's a dog. 
Do you want to get it? What? I think this is the better. I think this is the better thing in the movie, and I think the bear says this to jump, and and the bear scratches you. Don't want to get this too, Elliot. Do you know when that costume's from or anything? Is it? Like how old it is? Yeah, ish. Um, maybe 15, 10, 15 years, 10, 15 years ago. Oh, he got it from a costume store that was going out of place. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It should probably be dry cleaning. <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> Funny costume, yeah. What was the band? Um, there's like him and his buddies. I think they're called. Cousin yeah, but or... but huh. what about the bunny mask? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. He was in a rock band and he used to play guitar in the bunny mask. <laughs> Can you imagine how hot that would be? I I no, I cannot. That would be oh, awful. I just asked Jenny if she wanted all my. Uh, Fleetwood Mac Let me know if you're looking at anything for specific. Uh, you may have it inside. Not like this kind of stuff is what I look for. You know, like older rock and stuff like that. Oh, so. yeah. I've got one. Yeah. Um, yeah, see what you find. Okay. And How much are you asking per record? Or? Oh, I didn't even think no, about that part. Um, yeah, I'll let them go at two apiece. Okay. I don't think there's anything. Oh, like, That's pretty cool. In super great, you know, brand new shape. Okay, Maybe some of these. Yeah. Moody Blues? Yeah. You like the Moody Blues, huh? There you go. Ooh, Fugazi. Careful, bud. Doggy mash. Doggy mash. Ah! Doggy mash. 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 Doggy Oh, you're good. Yeah, it's okay, so. yeah, I'll do that whole stack. 18, 19, do you 20, know what 20, the pirate two, said on three, his 80th birthday? Four, five. <laughs> 30, yes. 31. 31 with that stack now. Okay. And then you said those are five apiece where that Pearl Jam starts? Yeah. Okay. What's back here, Daddy? Nothing. Don't go back there, bud. It was either the record player or it was actually scratched. Do we have to buy a new one? Yeah, I'll do all these two. Great. All right. So, so that was 31, I said. Mm -hmm. So we're at 62 bucks, and there's another 20, so there's 82. So this thing's actually, I rigged up a light. That's why I drilled a hole in there. Uh -huh. So that you know it just illuminated right. that part um, it's pretty neat it, i just used a uh, an old christmas bulb and a battery oh really yeah that's pretty cool uh, uh, i'll get a bag for bunny thanks comes up to 145 145 okay, 120 40 2, 3. you can do venmo on paypal too oh i got cash it's okay Cash is still king. <laughs> I think so. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Thank you. Awesome. Very Thank much. you. You just made our day. Well, that's, you made my day too. It was it was slow. All right. Yeah, Thank you so much, guys. Put it over your shoulder. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right, buddy. You ready? Yeah. All right. Can you give me some oh, I will. Yeah. Looks like there's a bunch of stuff in there I need, so. Thank you. That was awesome, wasn't it?
a horse and a dog. Okay. Ready? Yes. All right. Say success. Do you think this stuff's worth a lot of money? Yes. You want to sell it? Yes. Buy toys? Yes. Okay. So I can, so I can get to my Walmart. Okay, I love you. All right, guys, we made it back to the garage. Real quick, I know that sometimes these uh, garage sale and yard sale videos make it look like, you know, these sales are just full of amazing things and uh, there's never a strikeout. But let me tell you, today, from like 7 to 10, I hit four community sales and probably five or six standalone garage sales, which means I probably went to 50 to 60 different sales and I spent a total of $3 on things that are so boring they're not even worth showing. Needless to say, I was feeling pretty defeated, but then when I got home around 11 o'clock, I saw an ad on Facebook for a sale about 20 miles away that started a little later in the day. So by then, Elliot was up and at him and he wanted to go with me. And I am so glad that I didn't give up because it turned out to be probably one of my favorite yard sales ever, just some really amazing stuff. So real quick, let me show you what I picked up to resell. But first, a quick little funny story. I was just leaving the gas station and a uh, lady was getting out of a truck carrying a couple things and said, hey, are you, are you Froggy Flips? Turned out to be a viewer named Amy and she said that she was getting ready to have a yard sale but she had a couple things that were too nice to put in the yard sale. So she put them in her truck just in case she ever saw me out in public and, and she would ask me if I wanted to buy them which I thought was pretty amazing. And I did actually want to buy them. She had this complete copy of Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube which I just sold this last week for 50 bucks and this one is complete, so that's pretty cool. And the other thing she had was this case that has this calculator in it, Hewlett Packard, um, an HP 65 vintage calculator. And this is actually an extremely good working condition. It looks like some units, like the more extras they have, obviously, the more they're gonna sell for, like, like extra program chips and stuff like that. This one, this one doesn't really have a lot of frills, it's just pretty much the unit, the case, and a power supply. But there have been recent comps for like up to 900 bucks with a ton of extra stuff. This one I think is more realistically in the in the two to three hundred dollar range. I'll probably list it at 399 based on what's available right now, uh, and then probably any offer over 250 I'll probably take. But I paid 130 bucks for all this right outside the gas station, and to be honest with you, it was probably the most amazing way I've ever bought inventory. I was so caught off guard that I didn't even ask her when and where her yard sale was. So, so Amy, if you're watching, thank you so much. And if you want to drop me a line about when and where your garage sale is, I'll definitely check it out. So that was a lot of fun. All right, now onto that amazing garage sale. These masks I basically just bought because I thought they were kind of creepy and cool. Honestly, I doubt these have much resale value, but like I said, just thought they were kind of cool, so I grabbed them. And then over here, I got this glass uh, Lucid Lines from 1974. I just thought it was really neat. And if you look on eBay solds, there are Lucid Lines that sell for quite a bit of money. I couldn't find this exact one, but I did look on Worth Point, and it looks like one just like this sold last year for $115. I grabbed a stack of like anime and manga type DVDs. I don't really know anything about these, but I know that they can sell well. I figured I would just buy every one I saw, look them all up later and see if anything was worth anything. Whatever wasn't worth much, just like kind of sell in a lot. Turns out this one right here should, should pay for everything. It has used comps in the like 30 to $60 range. And this one has the original poster with it. So I should get pretty much top end for that. So that's pretty cool. A lot of these are in the five to $15 range. So maybe a couple of the higher price ones I'll sell by themselves, but you know, for the most part, I'll lot them up like my original plan was. And then there was a few PS2 games and they looked like interesting titles. So I grabbed all those as well. Final Fantasy X, I grabbed this a lot and I always forget that it's not worth that much money. So this will get lotted up with something else. This one's pretty interesting. I, I can't find any solid comps on it. Asking prices on eBay are pretty high, like up to like 60 bucks disc only. This one's complete. So I don't really know what, what to price this at. And then this one is actually very good. Fatal Frame 3, which is also complete. This one has used comps in the $50 to $100 range. So this was definitely a good stack of media to pick up for a buck a piece. And then we got some baseball cards. I do occasionally gamble on baseball cards. I know nothing about them, but sometimes I buy them just to learn, kind of force myself to look things up. Like these just looked old to me and the corners all looked sharp and I just thought they were in very good condition. These are 1975 tops. So of course I've done a little research after the fact. And at first I thought I might've been crazy paying 20 bucks for this binder. And it turns out that I think that was a very good deal. 
There's probably over 500 cards in here. Probably 90 to 95% of them are in very good condition with very sharp corners. Maybe even gradable on some of them, to be honest with you. Now, I learned that the 1975 Topps Baseball cards, there's, there's a few really good cards to look out for, like the George Brett rookie card. I think Nolan Ryan's rookie card. There's a Pete Rose card, which I didn't see any of those in here. But I have spot checked a few of these just to kind of see the value. And I mean, there's there are several in here that even in ungraded nice condition can sell for 15, 20, 25, 30, even more dollars each. There's a bunch of the team cards. Um, some of these cards I've seen graded can sell for like over $300, which means that at some point, maybe they'd be worth having some of these graded. I don't know for sure. We'll see. I think Bob Gibson's in here, which seems like a good one. There's a Ken Griffey Sr. in here. So yeah, I'm pretty glad I bought these. I think I think they were a good deal. I think as is, I could probably sell this binder and make several times my money. Let me know what you would do with something like this. And then we have my favorite stuff, which are the records. The first batch of records I, I looked through, I wasn't too excited, but then he started bringing out the good stuff. And that's, and that's when I started jumping on the deals. Most of these were two bucks a piece. There were a few that were five. I went ahead and sleeved them all until I could sort out what's going to the booth and what's going online. But there are quite a few of these that I'm probably just gonna sell online because, because they're a little too niche for the booth and a little too valuable for the booth. But there are several in here that I'll throw in the antique booth for between like eight and 15 bucks a piece. But some of the really good ones, here is a uh, first pressing of Pink Floyd Animals. This one will probably go online. And then we have a first pressing of Sunny Day Real Estate Diary. So like this is the original pressing and it has the original Sub Pop order form in it, which I thought was pretty cool. The last one I saw that sold on eBay sold for 90 bucks and there's none available now in the first pressing edition. So um, I'll probably ask close to 100 on it. Shan Rock, couldn't really find anything on this. It's a small time wrapper. The original pressing of Beastie Boys Hello Nasty. This one will go online, probably hopefully 50 to 70 bucks. There's like an English import of garbage uh, androgyny remixes. I'm sure that'll go online. There's another Beastie Boys record that'll go online. This one's pretty neat. It's Hot Water Music, Finding the Rhythms, original pressing. This was off a very small label called No Idea. I believe that this edition, there were only 500 pressed, I think back in 1997, and this is one of the 500. Uh, so couldn't really find too many comps on it, but I'm definitely gonna price it high and wait for the right buyer to come along. The original pressing of Pearl Jam Yield. Uh, this should sell for between 80 and $100. Fugazi. Not sure on that one, but I'm sure that'll go online as well. Crocus, Headhunter, that'll go online. And then I think we start some of the ones that'll go in the booth. Some of these, the sleeves aren't in great condition, but the but the actual records seem, seem pretty decent. So there's Pink Floyd Metal, Van Halen, Dio, Pink Floyd Relics. This one has a really bad case. Jethro Tall always sells in the booth. Cheap Trick always sells. Billy Idol always sells. Fleetwood Mac always sells. We've got Iron Butterfly, another Fleetwood Mac, Jethro Tull, more Jethro Tull. There's some U2, the Eagles. There's uh, American Pie. There were a couple of these Beach Boys, Endless Summers, Dire Straits, the Eagles. There's the other Beach Boys. Frampton Comes Alive, ACDC, The Who, more Pink Floyd, and The Who's Greatest Hits. So I think I spent 82 bucks on all the records and conservatively, I think there's probably four to $500 in value here. I've not really done the math, but just with the few that are kind of rare that'll go online mixed with the uh, average of $10 booth items, uh, I'm feeling really good about this record buy. All right guys, so if you're having a bad day, make sure you stick with it because you never know what's right around the corner. But as always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya, bye. When they hear that cha-ching, and they all look at me I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap